Hello everyone. Uh, we're gonna go over one example right here. Okay. So this is the example here. So we have a uh, buck chopper right here. Okay. Uh, we have the frequency right here, and we have the resistance. And we have uh, the V source, and we have the inductor. We have those values, and we have um, a voltage of okay. source and supply is a load up, and we have a V out. Okay, so let's look at this. So, can we find uh, can we find the duty cycle? Yes, since we have the V source. And we have the V out, so the duty cycle right here is V source divided by V out equals 200 divided by 800 equals 0.5. So the duty cycle is 0.5. So it will be 50% on and 50% off. Uh, can we find the time? We have to find the time, guys. So we have here omega equals two pi frequency. Uh, okay, so we have the frequency and uh, omega, and we have the time equals one, the time equals one over frequency right here, okay? So, uh, the time is 5 milliseconds. The time is 5 milliseconds. So, we have T equals 1 over a 200. It will be 0 0.005. So, if you go like this, it will be 5 milliseconds. So, we know the time. We know the T. We have to find t guys, we have to know the value of t. So the value of t as we said, it will be let's say 50% off. So this one here on, see one box, two box, three boxes. So it has to be the same off, one, two, three. So that's my cycle, that's my t. This is my big t, one cycle, which is the 0.5 milliseconds. This one right here. Okay, let's look. Uh, question number one, it says the on state and off state. So that's what we need, uh, need to find. So the duty cycle. You said it's 0.5. So the duty cycle right here equals T on over big T. That's another equation also. We already have the duty cycle, which is 0.5. And uh, we have the T. So we can find T on. We have this, we have this, we can find T on. So now T on equals duty cycle times big T. So the duty cycle is 0.5. And uh, that's also uh, 0.5. So it's 2.5 milliseconds. 2.5 milliseconds. That's the T on. So this one here is 0.5 milliseconds, and this one here is 2.5 milliseconds. This is 5 milliseconds, and this is 2.5 milliseconds. Okay, that's the half, that's the T on. This is the T on, and that's the T off. So if T on is 2.5, so T on is 2.5, of course T off will be 2.5, it will be the same, okay? So T off, you can say big T minus T on equals 2.5 milliseconds. So we have both, we have the on state and the off state. 2.5 milliseconds and 2.5 milliseconds. 
Okay, the maximum and uh, minimum values of the output current, which is the two points that I told you in the previous, the points for the, for the current, we will draw it. Okay. Um, output current, so I out. And I out, we you know, it's here. It's when it's on, this is the inductor. When this is on, it is closed. So it will increasing, I out is increasing. That's in buck, because this is buck, guys. Okay, the chopper, this one is buck. It didn't say here is buck, but you have to know from the circuit that it's buck. Okay, so you see the location of the, of the MOSFET and of the power diode and of the inductor. And to have this as a boost, we will rotate counterclockwise. The inductor will be here, the MOSFET will be here, and the power diode will be here. Of course, flip the power diode. But from the figure, you must know that this is buck. So in buck, the I out is increasing, and then it's decreasing. Okay, let me finish drawing this. So this is like this, okay, on, off, and so on, okay? So this is two cycles, okay, and that's three cycles. So, that's I out, okay? So um, we're trying to find those points. This is I max for the I output, and this is I min, okay? So let's do this, we have equations. I max. Um, I'm going to use the one in the notes. You can use the one in the notes, the equations, or the one in your textbook that I told, uh, showed you last time in your uh, in your book. And uh, they will be uh, exactly uh, in pages 202. Okay? Those equations right here. Uh, equations 611 and 612. 611 and 612. You can use the one in the book. Or you can use the one in the uh, notes. I'm gonna use the one in the notes. They will both, both give you the same uh, answer. Using it doesn't matter. The out one over resistance plus T of over two L. Okay, that's I max and I out min. V out will be the same equation, but instead of plus, it will be minus, one over resistance, minus T of over two L, and the equation right here, you have the V out, which is 100, this one, and you have one over resistance, the resistance is five, plus the T of, it's 2.5 milliseconds, okay? Divided by 2L, which is 2 times 10 milli Henry. Make sure you can you calculate those. Okay? And this one will be uh, 32.5. And, and this will be here, it will be the same, it will be 7.5 and Then the source current, to find the source current, okay, first you need to find I out, total I out, so I out equals this plus this, okay, so it would be 32.5 plus 7.5 divided by 2, you need to find the, the total or the average, and the average is 20 because this is 40 here. 40 divided by 2 equals 20. That's my average. So to find the source, I source from the equation that I showed you last time in Buck, uh, it's I source equals duty cycle times I out. Duty cycle times I out. And duty cycle is 0.5 times 20 
is 10. So 10 ampere, that's I source. I source is 10. The average value of the diode current, so I diode here, equals I out, T up, over big T. Average value of the diode current. Okay, so it would be the same thing. Um, 10. For us, the minimum inductor right there, you're going to use the equation, which is this. So L min, as we said last time, we need to know the value of the inductor. So that this amount, the, this, uh, this current right here, the I out, does not, this is I out here. All right, I'm using the right. This one does not reach the zero, because if the current if the I out reaches a zero, then I will have discontinuous current. So uh, minimum inductor equals one minus duty cycle times resistance divided by two times frequency, or uh, you can use the resistance times T off divided by uh, two times frequency equals 6.25 Milli okay. And now this is the VG here. Sorry, this is the I out here. Okay, and this is the VG. Okay, and then the VRL, which is uh, this one here, V out. Okay, V out. This is the VG, which is the gate, the voltage across the gate, which is the MOSFET, and this is V out. Okay, it will be the same, but the peak will be bigger actually. So if you look at this, the peak, the peak will be bigger than this because this is the gate, small voltage. Okay, same here. Okay. That's the V out. And uh, I out, I want to draw out, it's the same. I want to draw out here, I will erase this. Because uh, this is the gate, I don't want to draw it with the, uh, okay. I'll draw it with this. So it will increase here. I out, this is I out. Then it will decrease, discharging, charging, discharging, charging. And we said this point is I out max. And this point here is I min. I source. I source. According to the switch. When the switch is closed, so I source is going here to the inductor, so it's increasing. When the switch is open, no I source, zero. Then the inductor after it's charging, it will release. There will be a loop right here. Okay? Switch, this one will work as switch. I can raise this. Which is the transistor, the transistor, I can erase it and replace it with a switch. Okay. When the switch is closed, then I will have I source going to the inductor, so increasing. Okay. So, uh, so I source increasing. Then when the switch is open, 
I will have no eye source. This one was charged, it will release through the power diode. Okay, so nothing here. Zero right here. Then it will increase. Then zero. It will increase. And zero. Okay, that's cool. That's I source. Uh, I diode. That's what's left. I diode. I diode is right here, guys. We know that when the switch is closed for the buck, the current is going through the resistance and through the inductive load, so it's increasing. But when it's off, when it's off, guys, pay attention. When it's off, means closed, open, switch is open, no eye source. But this will release, and the polarity will flip. And the current is going here now. This will work as a source. The inductor will work as a source. So the current is going opposite to the diode. The current is going opposite. So this is the current you will see on the diode when the switch is off. This is the switch off from here to here. So that's what you will see here. Okay. When the switch is off, that's what you will see, guys. And the rest is zero. This is zero. This is zero. And this is zero. If you burn this and this, which is I diode and I source, both, you will get I out. Okay, this is uh, a buck example, guys. Okay. Assume, assume that I have a boost right here. And same questions. Just use the other equations for the boost. Okay, you're gonna use the duty cycle, you're gonna use the I max and I min, and you're gonna use the L min for the boost. So I can give you the same questions right here, or the same question by me, just change the, the figure for you. I can give you a buck, I can give you a boost, I can play with the values right here, and you do the rest. You will see something like this definitely in your final exam. Okay, so make sure you do. Uh, you do practice for this kind of questions. Okay, thank you.